Hey guys, it's Dino. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna going to show you how to play uh, with the queen against the knight. How to checkmate? Sorry about that. How to checkmate in this position? And uh, it's maybe a little bit trickier than in the case when the opponent has the bishop, uh, because you have to, for example, uh, you are on the move, and if you play this move, it's gonna be over or it's gonna be draw, so he's gonna play this move and pick up your queen. I mean, this is a draw because he cannot checkmate you, but you don't want you don't want obviously a draw. You want to win this. So uh, let's begin. You the general rule and strategy. You just want to push him to the last rank or to the corner of the board and checkmate him and avoid this. Uh, this kind of this kind of traps. So first, you you want to get your king closer and your your queen, of course, closer to push the king. So instead of going here, you go here to avoid this check. So now he plays, uh, let's say, king e6, and you really nice move. So this is the common common kind of moves. You when when uh, the his king step up kind of you wanna just go uh, in with the queen and uh, just not uh, I mean take take some squares from him so he cannot move to these squares anymore and just little by little patience is the key little by little just push him to the to the fav favorable square. So now after queen d4, he plays, uh, let's say, oh, one second, he plays queen e6. And after this move, he plays this move, and again, kind of set, setting up a trap for us. If we go here, he's going to give a check. So of course, uh, we avoid that square, we first give a check. And uh, after he goes, let's say, king f6, king f3, sorry, we go king g3. Now there is no, there is a check, but queen is not on this square, so it's, it's good. So your, your king is getting closer, your queen is also getting closer, and this box uh, so the key thing is this box is getting smaller for him now uh, he plays uh, g 6 and uh, what do we do we go in with the queen and he gives this check so this is kind of annoying because uh, it kind of looks like like you wanna you wanna go here and then he's gonna give you a check again, but the easiest way to avoid that is just to go here and yes you're going also closer with this move and pushing the king and there is no check anymore so that's that's really good and if he goes here now he cannot move this knight and we just go in and it's all good so knight e uh, knight e5 check. We go here with the with the king. And now goes king e6, and this knight cannot move since because of the pin. Now uh, we play king king, uh, king g5. Getting closer with the queen with the king. He goes uh, king uh, d6, now this knight can move. And what do we do in this position? King f5, getting closer. So now this this uh, knight has to move. Knight goes to d7, trying to get these pieces together. and. What do we do in this position? 
we give a check here because again uh, pushing him with this moves maybe we could give a check here also and the box is small here also but uh, that would be probably probably fastest faster way but uh, probably it's the best for you just to follow this simple pushing uh, this simple way of just pushing him with this kind of checks and getting your move and getting your queen closer so uh, keep it simple don't complicate just follow the simple rules and avoid avoid a uh, forks his his uh, knight moves where can he fork fork you and the king I mean queen and the king so here king uh, e7 and we play queen d5 as I said patiently is pushing him and and you cannot make a mistake with with this approach uh, knight f8 see now this is getting really 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 bad for 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 black and now we play king c5 uh queen c5 so really this is interesting move because he has to now uh, uh go to these two of these squares where he has to protect this knight and that's what we want so let's say he plays king f7 and we play king uh queen c7 and push him finally to the last to the last rank and from now it is really really easy so uh, as I said Queen uh, c7 King actually it was better for him to go here I mean it, I guess either or bad but let's say he plays uh, this move King e8 and after this move we play king f6 threatening checkmate on this square now uh, it is really hard to, to avoid checkmate he plays a check with the knight here and uh, we just go I thought this is was uh, this was kind of smart move, but this is even better because we are attacking this knight, and this knight has to move, and when it moves, we give a checkmate here, and if he doesn't move, we, we just take the knight. So in this case, uh, king uh, d7, king e6. Give eight, and we just go. Uh, I mean, knight knight f eight, check, and we just move the the, the king to the d six. There is no checks anymore. Again, we are threatening mate here, and he tries to cover that square with this move. But finally, we just finish him with this move attacking the knight and attacking the defender of this square where we are attending to develop a checkmate and there is no there is no <laughs> there's no doing i mean there's no defense maybe you can try this but we give a check checkmate here so uh pretty easy stuff just uh be patient try to avoid forks uh get your king closer your queen just step by step trying to push him and that's pretty much it i hope you uh learn this enjoy this like and subscribe and see you in the next video